follow these animals incredibly closely. And Scott, hi Scott, welcome on the vehicle, is wondering at what point, if I, if, if I was to get out of the vehicle, at what point would it become dangerous? 99.99% of the time, Scott the leopard would run away. But you never know. Uh, the only time it would be dangerous if the leopard felt cornered or threatened. So, for example, if I jumped out of her when she had a clip to her back and I put myself between her and her only escape route, that would be when it's dangerous. Now, I'm really hoping the little cub is still alive and she's going to find it while we follow her. Yeah, we're just going to keep going through here slowly, slowly. So isn't this incredible? This is live and we are following a female leopard and we're about to go into a break so stay with us after the break to see what happens. So much excitement happening here. Now I'm a bit worried about this cub to be honest. I haven't heard any responses. The only responses I've heard are from Sindile. She keeps coming to this area around these two big termite mounds and calling and calling. And her calling is getting louder and louder. So I'm just trying to figure out where's the best way to go through and around. Now, where was he? He was sleeping over here somewhere. Do you still see it? Oh, there he is. Okay, if we go, there's that bendy marula is. Okay. Add to the right slightly. Oh, I see him. Okay, cool. I see him. There he is. We're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with Shadow for now. You still have visual beam. Oh, there's a termite mound in the way now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now she has lost this cub. She's gonna come into Estrus again. He'll be mating in a matter of weeks. We can still hear Cindina <coughs> responding to her. Is he on the move again? Yes, he's up. I'm moving. Isn't this amazing? I mean, this is really behavior we never, we never see. I've never seen anything like this in, in all my years in the bush. Let's just 
got to be on the game drive radio for a brief second. Looks like she's going to lie down again. Okay, we're going to... It seems like there's a bit of a, a stalemate at the moment. And lying down. While we do that, let's go back to James in the tent. Whoo-wee! What a time of it they're having over there. Um, I, unlike my friend Brent Leo Smith, am rather more hopeful that he has not killed the cub. Um, I'm still sounding a bit soft. Can you hear now? Better? Better? Davy, are you, are you, have you got levels? Yes. Okay. Jamie in the yeah, Jamie's got a leopard. At the hyena kill. Karula. Oh my goodness, everybody. Here we go. No, it's not Karula. It's a male, I think. <laughs> it's unbelievable, everybody. Here we go, back to TV. Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. This is a leopard skull. You are live from the middle of the iconic Kruger National Park. Hashtag Safari Live. Ask us questions. Send us shout outs for your Father's Day requests. Tomorrow we'll call them out. Same time, same place. Enough of me. We've got leopards all over the place. Back to Jamie this time with a leopard. I don't believe this. This is absolutely incredible. It just goes to show that a live safari, you just never know what to expect. And the elephants are coming, so I'm going to keep my voice down a bit, try and master the excitement. This is so incredible. While we were sitting watching the hyena, this leopard just sprang out of nowhere and came and started feasting on the buffalo. So the, the hyenas chased the lions away, and the leopard has just chased the hyenas away. I don't believe this is absolutely. Nature never fails to provide and the African bush is just one of the most spectacular experiences. There's just so many phenomenal mysteries out here. This is a male leopard. And a very warm welcome to Roan and to Eva who are Drew's daughters at Nat Geo Wild, you want to know how often will a leopard eat? Well, the answer to that is it depends on how big the food is that they eat, but it's usually around between three to four days, depending on their hunting success. Now, that is the general time period. Now, I know that the view of this leopard is obscured. He's clearly very hungry because he's come to scavenge from this carcass. Now, it's not unheard of for leopards to scavenge. In fact, it's more common than we might expect. But this, I have to say, was totally unexpected. It really was. Now, I don't know which leopard this is. It is a male leopard. Now, we know each and every single leopard in this area. I suspect that it is a leopard called Mvula with a fascinating story. But I want to just be very careful before I reposition the vehicle. Let me explain this to you. Some of our leopards, most of the Sabi sand leopards, are incredibly used to vehicles. They've grown up from tiny, tiny babies with vehicles around them. Now, we do have one male leopard in this area that we don't think has ever seen vehicles before in his life. And we've only just recently started getting him used to the idea of people in safari vehicles. So I want to make sure that I can work out exactly which leopard this is before I risk starting the vehicle and scaring him off. But I think with those incredible incandescent eyes, I have a suspicion that it is a male leopard called Mvula. Now, if indeed this is Mvula, let me try and move nice and slowly. If indeed this is Mvula, he used to be the dominant male leopard, the top spotted cat in this area. 
He mated with Karula, Shadow's mother, the female leopard that you saw with Brent. And he's mated with many other females and kept control of this area. And it's only in the last few months while we have been watching the dynamics of our leopards change that he's actually started to be pushed out of his territorial area and pushed into other areas. So he's basically become what's known as a dispersal male, meaning he runs and he stays away from any other dominant male leopard. And he's looking very nervous. The hyena's coming back. I thought that might happen. Let's just listen to the growls. There he goes. All right, guys, that's absolutely incredible. We're going to try and stay with our male leopard. The hyenas have come back. It's the females. They're much bigger than the, calf, than the cubs. That's why I've started up my vehicle. He might not go too far. I hope he doesn't. Just let my engine run for the moment. Get everything in the area used to the idea that I am going to move, particularly the elephants. How incredible is that? A leopard steals from the hyena. The hyena steal back from the leopard. This is just phenomenal. It's almost like they went and searched for help. We've now got four, maybe five hyenas coming to join us. And that's exactly what happened. That hyena that got chased off by the leopard went to look for help. And it found him, found help in the form of these much larger females from the hyena clan. I am so thrilled that you get to experience this incredible example of predator hierarchy on your live safari. It just doesn't get better than this. I'm so excited. I, can't, I still can't believe that just happened. It is absolutely phenomenal. And to top it all off, as we start to move out, I do want to see if we can't stay with that leopard, although I think he's going to keep running. Let's see if we can't get around towards him. But to top it all off, as we start to move out, we might even see the vultures that have started to gather in the hope of a scrap. Wow, absolutely incredible. That individual is called Pretty. Now we've learned to recognize each of our individual hyenas. That is Pretty that just came in and she's followed by a hyena known as Madam. Madam is the, the matriarch, the head of this clan and those two females are amongst the highest ranking in this hyena clan and when it comes to getting business done they are the individuals that will do it. And they're going to go and search. There he is. He's still here. And the hyenas are going for him. There he goes. He's terribly disappointed, bitterly disappointed. Guys, the hyenas are still going to be here. They're not going to go far. But that leopard may well not be. And I desperately want to figure out who it is. So let's go and search for him. We'll leave our hyenas to their meal and see if we can't catch up with them. So while we continue our search, let's head across back to James in the tent.